Ralph, how was your week? Oh, it was okay. I watched our church service on the computer last week. Our pastor was talking about people in the Bible who were not where they wanted to be. That sounds like all of us right now. Mm. Do you remember what part of the Bible he was talking about? I think it was the book of Geranium. Or maybe the book of Geronimo. Might you mean the book of Jeremiah? Oh, you mean the one about the bullfrog? Well, I do have a bullfrog friend named Jeremiah, a very good friend of mine. But no, I'm talking about the book in the Bible. Yeah, that's it. And he said there were some people babbling on about something that they weren't where they wanted to be. Perhaps he was talking about the people of Israel during the Babylonian captivity. Yeah, that sounds right. He said they were not where they wanted to be, and they were going to be there longer than they expected. Ah, yes. That is what the Babylonian captivity meant to them. It sounds like his idea made you think a little bit. It did, because I was thinking I used to like staying home from school, but now I'm getting tired of it. I just want to go to the park and play with my friends. So you're not where you want to be, and you're not sure how long you're going to be there. That's right. In fact, even Tom Brady got kicked out of a public park in Tampa, so that's pretty serious. I should say so. Do you know who else he was right there who didn't want to be? Do tell me, my friend. Well, I was reading in my Bible story book again, and I read about a guy who got swallowed by a fish. Yeah, ooh, that sounds like a place he didn't want to be at all. Yeah, I bet it was pretty disgusting inside the fish. Why was he in there anyway? Well, that is the story of Jonah. God had commanded him to go to a city called Nineveh to preach to them, but he refused. Why did he refuse? Because Nineveh was the capital city of a nation called Assyria, and they were enemies of Israel. That's why Jonah refused to do it. In fact, he ran the other way and boarded a ship bound for a place called Tarshish. Wow, he really must have been upset. But how did he end up inside a fish? Well, while the boat was at sea, it encountered a great and terrible storm, and the crew thought they were going to die. So they started throwing cargo overboard, but that didn't help. So Jonah admitted that the storm was his fault, since he was running from God. Mm -hmm. And he told them to throw him overboard, and their problems would be solved. Was he nuts or something? He allowed them to throw him overboard during a storm? Yes, he did. And as soon as they threw Jonah overboard, the storm cleared up and the waters were calm. Wow, that's a neat trick. But what happened to Jonah? Well, that's where it gets interesting. God provided a giant fish, perhaps a whale, and the fish swallowed Jonah whole. Jonah spent three days and three nights inside that fish. That's the yucky part of the story. What do you suppose he ate in there? I'd rather not speculate on that. Do you think he built a campfire inside the fish? That would have given him heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I suppose it would have. I don't know if he would have been able to build a fire. I imagine it was pretty damp inside that fish. And stinky, too. You're right, Ralph. Well, after three days, God caused the fish to vomit Jonah out onto the shore. Ross! It's like SeaWorld gone crazy. So, what did Jonah do next? I mean, after he took a shower. Well, God came to him and told him to go to Nineveh and preach to the people. And this time, Jonah obeyed. What happened after Jonah preached to them? The Bible says that the people turned away from the bad things they were doing and followed God. So, even though Jonah was in a place he didn't want to be, still God helped him and caused good to come out of it. Precisely, Ralph. The same can be true for us. Even though we're not where we want to be, God can help us and bring good out of our situation. Thanks, Hootie. That's a great story. You're welcome, Ralph. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.